Hello student welcome to my channel learn more maths my name is Varak Kumar today we are going to learn about fundamental theorem of arithmetic from the chapter real numbers a student already we have completed exercise 1.1 nuclear division lemma and exercise 1.1 total problems we have completed student if you don't watch that first you have to watch uh, all the videos uh, uh, which I have covered uh, from exercise 1.1 so now to solve the problems from 1.2 exercise uh, before that we have to learn the fundamental theorem of arithmetic uh, student if you are watching first time my video subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon whenever I upload the videos you can get the latest notification and uh, share to your friends uh, student you follow my channel I am uploading each and every video from all chapters uh, topic wise and exercise wise student exercise with problems so see student what it says so the statement is every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order the prime factors occur so this is the statement of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so simply you have to remember every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes that you have to remember student so what are the composite numbers the numbers which have more than two factors are called the composite numbers already you know so student except one every natural number is either prime or a composite so except one one is neither a prime nor a composite so except one all natural numbers are either primes or composite numbers so the least composite number four is the least composite number so what it says the fundamental theorem of arithmetic every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes so and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur he is saying so irrespective of the order of the prime factors this factorization is unique it says so c student once again so every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur so c student let us take one example so see here so i am taking 12 is a composite number so 12 can be expressed as the product of a prime it says so c student how can we read the prime factors of 12 so by factorization prime factorization so we have to divide by the prime factors up so the least what is the least prime 2 is the least prime starting from the 2 we have to uh, resolve into factors uh, 2 6 are 12 again uh, 6 can be divided 2 3 are 6 okay so these three are the prime factors of 12 student now 12 can be written as 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 so now this is the prime factor so the prime factorization of 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 so apart from the order apart from the order the prime factorization is unique is saying and apart from the order so see here if 2 into 2 into 3 or we can write 2 into 3 into 2 or we can write it is a 3 into 2 into 2 so whatever it may be so irrespective of prime order of prime factors so this is unique and like this we can divide the given composite number into its prime factors so after uh, resolving into it prime factors we have to find the lcm and hcf in the next exercise student first you have to learn how can we resolve the given composite number into its prime factorization so this is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so in the next class we solve some problems related to this all today's class student so we will meet in the next class